Hello everyone, welcome to myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to build a Docker container with your Node.js application and MySQL database. So, uh, this is the blog that I have on my website, myonlineedu.com. You can go through uh, that to know the details of it. But in this video, you know, I'll just explain it to you how you can do it. So think about that, that you have a Node.js application and you want to connect to the MySQL database as well as you want to make a Docker container out of it. So this video will help you to build that container. So let's first start with our Node.js and MySQL application. So this is the folder structure pretty much and I have this index.js file first. Okay, so let's look into it. So this is the package.json file for this my application and remember this thing that before you know you want to make it a dockerize I am doing this start command with node index.js because index.js my, is my primary uh, file okay and also express and mysql are the dependencies that I have already added. So needless to explain these things. Uh, now coming to the index.js, this is uh, pretty simple that you know I am using the express app and then you know I am getting this environment variables value if they are null they are you know they are they are null then basically I am taking this hard coded values with my local host and the uh, and then the mysql db as a node db okay. And then you know I'm I'm opening the connection, creating the connection, and then connection is uh, I'm just doing the connect and then doing a select query from this table, and and then you know just printing the result. That's it. Okay. So now you can see here that it's a very simple application just to showcase you that you know how you can connect. So let's first do it in our local machine. Let's make it makes it work in a local machine. Then after that we'll go for a docker container so i am opening the mysql workbench and i am connecting to the mysql database that is running on port 3306 now if you are wondering how i am running mysql how i have installed mysql as well as mysql data workbench to connect to the database i have a video on my channel i'll share that video link also in the description you can go through that so as you can see here, first thing that we need to do is we need to create a schema or a database. Okay, so it will be a node underscore DV. That's the name that we are given. I'll keep UTF general CI as my default collation and then I'll apply and then it will create the schema. So you can see here the schema is created. Now I need to create a table. Correct. So make it as a default schema after that you if you come back to my blog you know i have the pl sql code over here you know you can use it to create the tables as well as the test data so let's first run it so this table is created okay so and then you know maybe i what i'll do is i'll do it, make it as a local just to make sure that it's, it's just to you know uh, differentiate between my local and the docker data okay so and then i'll run this query it will insert the two more tables okay so now if i query this table you see these two data i mean two rows are coming correct so now now on this application I'll run this command so it's running on port 8005 so now you see that I got the data from the MySQL database from the node application which is running on port 8005 okay so these things looks good so far you have seen that the node.js as well as the mysql both were running on the 
local host on my local machine now it's time to dockerize those two so to do that to make the docker container first we need to install the docker so i have a video on my channel which you can see which is describes you know how to install the docker so i have a docker version 19 <coughs> i'm working on so now we need to build the docker file okay from that application and also you can see that so there is right now uh, no docker images available in my machine correctly so now let's uh, build the docker file first so in you know so we'll be starting from a node uh, which is a standard node node js provided docker uh, docker image uh, which is available in the docker hub so i am using the stretch slim tag you can use you know either uh, if you want uh, latest or maybe uh, node 10 or 14 you know uh, as far as your uh, requirement but I'll be using the stretch slim uh, one. You know, this is the little bit slimmer. And then, I, you know, I'm making this as a working directory, this folder, and then I'm copying the package JSON files. And then I'm doing the RPM install because we are not copying the, we, we are not copying the node, uh, you know, uh, node modules, correct? So if you see the Docker ignore file here, we are excluding the, you know, the, the node modules file because we want to uh, just minimize the size of this docker image and and after that after copying the package JSON, we'll run the npm install which will actually uh, you know install the dependencies for this package json which i have shown you earlier okay and then you know i am doing the copy so copying all the code files from dot to dot means ditto copy from this folder to that folder in the, in the server I mean in the docker container and then exposing the port 8005 where the node.js will be uh, exposed to in the port and then command prompt you know npm start okay so this is the one that the, so the npm module will start and if you remember in in our uh, package of json we have a node dot node then index.js so index.js will be started running after you know this docker file so now let's build the docker image so to build the docker image we need to run this command docker build dot hyphen t dot means the docker file you know uh, exist here and then we need to uh, put it something like this okay the you know this amok a m a k u n d u so this part is the my docker hub username and this one is my uh, image name so as you can see now it started fetching the you know the node image and then it will actually build the docker image for my node.js application okay so successfully it is built so now let's check Yeah, now you can see that first it fades the no node, you know, stretch slim tag, this image and then build our, you know, uh, build our image. Okay. Uh, this is our, our image that our application image. So after that, we need to do the Docker compose up. Now let's see the Docker compose file. So we are using the version 3.2 and here basically there are three services. One is the node JS part. Here we are doing the image, okay, the same image, and then it's dependent on the MySQL, as well as you know I am passing some environment variable, as you know that which is used over there, and I am passing you know the MySQL credentials uh, as an environment environment variable to my uh, Node.js application. The second part is the MySQL one, and third part is the PHP my, my admin. You know, uh, this is because I uh, I'm, I just want to access the database, like the MySQL database. So, so that is why I'm using PHP MyAdmin. But if this is not needed if you expose this MySQL port, that 33, 
zero six port to an external port, you know, then then maybe you can uh, you know directly connect to the MySQL uh, from any client like the MySQL Workbench. But let's now you know go through this route, the PHP My Admin to access the uh, to access the database. So now sudo docker compose up. So this is the command I'll be running. So now you see here it's pulling the MySQL application. So it's my MySQL image it's pulling. And then you know it will start uh, pulling the PHP my admin also. So now the PHP my admin as I said is getting pulled by this docker compose file. So first the node.js application then the mysql application is getting started. Now if you look into now if you look into our docker compose file uh, you will see that you know uh, we are actually using this port number for PHP my admin is 3002 and our node.js application is 3001. So we need to uh, manually uh, create those tables and the data to test, right? So it's 3002, sorry, 3002 is the one and then a login with the MOE user and MOE pass that is the user id and password that we are you know using in the mysql application so i, I am into this php my admin here the moe db, db is already been created only uh, you know we need to create the table as well as the data so again uh, going back to our you know uh, blog and i'll be copying this whole stuff placing over here and then click go so you know uh, both the data has been there and we can see you know these are the data right so here it's not local it's test item 1 and test item 2 okay now you know I have to now since it is running so i now i can run the our node js application in 3001 port now from here you can see the test item 1 and test item 2 which is coming from the docker container correct yes and uh, if you want you know to add more data maybe something like docker this is the third item and maybe this is the fourth item okay and then click go now again if you refresh the page you see this all these four items have been you know printed from that from that uh, node.js application so uh, th th this is how you know you can dockerize your node application with mysql database and uh, and one thing that i wanted to share with you that if you don't want the php um, my admin to 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 use for accessing the mysql database what you can do is you can uh, you know expose the mysql port 3306 as like this to a external port and then you know using mysql workbench you can access that database so that's it from my side if you think this is helpful please click the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel to get update on the regular you know educational videos Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.